friendship divorce. It's super interesting to me that people go to NLP training or coaching or whatever for the relationship that is the significant other that they're divorcing. People seek therapy and coaching for the relationship that they have with their children. God knows people seek um, coaching and therapy with the relationship they once had with their parents, uh, maybe still have with their parents. And one thing that people very rarely seek coaching or therapy for is friendship. The loss of a friend, either through death or the friendship ending in a fight or the friendship ending like any relationship. It's, <laughs> it's ran its course, um, growing apart, all those different things. And it's interesting to me how this friendship loss is a frequent discussion in the NLP trainings that I do around the world, regardless if it's here in Mexico or in LA or Miami and San Diego, Boston, Bali, Amsterdam, all the places that I typically train, is, is that people mention it in the training all the time, but people won't pay to go see someone. It, there's this barrier where we tell ourselves that when we have a friend, we speak of love and this great relationship, my sister, my brother, uh, you know, my s brother from another mother, my sister from another mother, my soul friend, whatever, you hear all these words. But the moment that our friendships end, it's we're not getting the help that we need. We may Google for books and stuff like that. But what would happen if we did treat our friendship loss as a huge life event I'm not taking not talking to a friend of one year but I have lost friends on several occasions after 10 years and oftentimes there was a lot of love and gratitude in those relationships and um, and but it, it just ran its course and I sometimes saw that first and he, and sometimes I didn't and it's really really hard so Treat the friendship loss like an important relationship loss. Yeah, it's okay to be angry. It's okay to be sad. But you also need to approach it like any relationship ending, which means there's two ways of dealing with it. You can deal with it like a pessimist or a victim, which means it affects all areas of my life. It affects all other friendships. I expected this friendship to be for life. I am now hurt, I am now this, I am now that. And you can also approach it in a different way, which is like how an optimist or a survivor coach this, which means the friendship ends, but there's life after the friendship. And if anything, after the sadness and the hurt is over and honoring that for yourself, is to go, okay, what is it that I've learned in this relationship that in my existing other friendships, in the friends that I've yet to meet. What are my values in that? What is it that I want? What is it that I appreciate in a friend? What is it in my new friend 2.0 version that I am now going to uh, build with my other friends or the new friends that I'm seeking? What is that going to be like? And to stop for a moment, to honor that so that you can actually have a friendship that is mutual and is joyful and has positive emotions. And when people share positive emotions, there is a synergy. And that allows the positive emotion to be more positive. And so what is it that you're going to seek for? And just honor it like that. And why not? You could seek a coach for that. If people take NLP training because they lost a, an important friend to them, it may relate to topics like grief and guilt and all those different things. And it can fire the inner ch children in us. And, and so honor it. That's the way that I would say it. And um, see you around. Hi from Mexico.